Hey guys, it's Kat from Blue Moxie Art. I'm here with my Faith with Moxie message this week and the art journal page. Faith with Moxie is my answer to Bible journaling. I don't do art in my Bible. I write in my Bible, I take notes in my Bible, but I don't do art in it. It's not a moral or ethical thing for me. I'm not judging people that do. It's because I know my own weaknesses. And if I were to do art in my Bible, then that page would become about my art and not about God's word that's on it. And I just, to avoid that, because I know how I am, I journal in art journals. And I love to journal my faith. I just do it in art journals. So this month's page is about um, this little transistor radio, which reminds us to stay tuned into God. It's kind of vintagey and old school because I'm vintage and old school. It's got... Um, mesh and and wire and all kinds of cool stuff i don't know if you can see that fun texture on there and it's you know music notes in the background and then i chose psalm 85 8 that says i will listen to what god the lord says he promises peace to his people i love that verse and um um we'll talk about that a little bit more because i think that's a great verse so this page came about because years ago literally years ago um i was driving and there's this, there's this little spot in my town by the high school where I lose reception all the time. And I know it. It's just, that's the way it is. It's just going to happen. And I was driving, had Christian music playing on the radio and got stopped at the red light and there went static. It just became static. And I remember thinking, wow, you know, God's love never fails. His message never fails. His word and his promises never fail. It's my end. My end is the end where I lose reception and I get static. And I really thought about that. And I've thought about it for a long time. I mean, this is years now. And I think about it really quite a lot. And, you know, sometimes I'm so dialed in to God. You know, I'm my prayer life is there. My Bible study is there. He's at the forefront. And I, I'm tuned in. I'm dialed in. I'm like open reception. It's amazing. And I wish that I could tell you that... It was that way all the time, but it's not, it's, it's really not. I lose reception a lot. And, you know, sometimes it's like I have God on and he's, he's the background music. You know, I might have God station on and, and God's, yeah, I've been listening to God, but really I'm doing everything else. That's kind of where my, my weaknesses come in is that I get busy. You know, my, instead of actively listening to God, I turn him into background music and I'm thinking about, you know, all the things I have to do as a wife and a mother and a woman and a businesswoman as an artist and, you know, just adulting, you know, it's, it's hard. And I let those things take up all the forefront noise and, and, and put God in the background. Another thing that I do to lose my, um, reception of God is like, I know, I know that that, that corner at that intersection, that I'm going to lose reception. So I should go around, but I don't want to, I don't know why that's the direction I like to go. So even though I know that that area, I'm going to lose reception a little bit, I still go through it. And I think, oh, it's just for around the corner. Once I turn the corner, I'll be fine. So I don't necessarily avoid those places where I know that my reception to God is going to become a little weaker. And for me, that ties back into the business. You know, I let myself get too busy and I let myself get focused on doing things, all the other things, you know, instead of avoiding those situations where I've, I'm going to be just overwhelmed and have too much going on. So I've, I really think a lot about that. Like, how do I stay tuned in? Now, I drive a cool old little car. It's a 72 Datsun 510 wagon. Just, it's awesome with an old radio. So I don't have a push button radio. I have a dial in radio. <laughs> so I'll leave my house and my reception will be really good. This is such an analogy for my life. <laughs> my reception's good. I'm tuned in. I'm listening to what I want to be listening to. It's all good. I can literally turn one corner and I still can hear the music that I'm listening to, but it's a little, you know, it's not very strong. And it's mixed in with some static. Now, I can fine tune it right there. I can fix that. I can dial that in. And then I'm back on track. 
But if I don't, then I can literally turn one more corner and now I either have just static, I have static on my radio, or I'm listening to something that I don't want to be listening to, which usually at that point I will turn it back. So I can either fine tune as I go along and keep listening to what I want to be listening to, or I can literally take two corners from where I start off at and be in totally away from where I wanted to be to what I was listening to and just have static and have things I don't want. So that's just my little, my little car radio analogy. And that's how this page came about was because I wanted to remember to avoid those places that I know we're going to put static and mess up with my reception to also do the things that I needed to do to keep tuned in and to fine tune as I go. And that's okay. You know, tweak it as you go, fine tune, fine tune, just that little dial, keep tuning it in. You don't have to wait until it's, um, so far static and you're listening to the station. You don't even understand the words. Um, just tune it as you go and don't even let you, I don't even let myself get there. So the reason I picked this verse, this, um, I will listen to what God, the Lord says, he promises peace to his people is one. I'm all about peace. I want peace in my life. That is, is one of my daily things. What can I do today to bring peace in my life? And then I picked this one because it's listening, which is active. There's hearing and there's listening and hearing, you know, I hear that background music, but I'm not really listening to it. It's just there. But when I'm listening to something, like if I want to know those words, if I want to know those song lyrics, I'm listening, I'm paying attention. Sometimes I'm even writing them down. Remember when we were kids and we had to wait for that song to come on the radio and we'd write the words and um, I'm doing that. So it's the difference between passively sitting back and, and letting it happen or actively listening and fine tuning and and making it making it happen because I do have a responsibility because God's love never fails. His love, his message, his promises, his word, those are all just poured down on me every day. I, and with the same intensity, just an intensity I can't even imagine. That frequency is just tuned into me. It's me. I need to stay tuned in to, to receive those things, to receive the love and the promises and the peace. And there requires an action on my part. So that's what this is all about. I don't really have um, actual journal prompts this month. I just have things for us to think about, like where am I going where I know that I'm going to lose my reception and <laughs> what can I do to avoid that situation? And where do I need to fine tune in? You know, what do I need to tweak a little bit and tune in on the radio? So, um, that's, that's really it. I just, it's a simple concept, but it's one that's kind of hung out with me and it helps me a lot and I hope it helps you too. And I hope to see you in class. My website's down below. If you want to check it out, you can, um, hopefully take the class with me or subscribe to one of my, I have a website, I have a video channel, so see what's coming up. So thanks guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.